Quinton Tarver, known for American Idol and Romeo and Juliet, dead at 38 after car accident. The musician sang a cover of Prince's When Doves Cry in Baz Luhrmann's 1996 film. Quinton Tarver, best known for singing in Baz Luhrmann's 1996 Romeo and Juliet and seasons 2 and 7 of American Idol is dead at age 38 after a car accident in Texas. The singer's uncle, Willie Tarver, confirmed news of his death to the Daily Beast saying he was in an accident on a Texas highway last Thursday. He had an accident all we know is he had a wreck, crashed into a wall somewhere on George Bush Turnpike, he told the outlet. That's all the information I have. Quinton's other uncle, Kevin, told the Dallas Morning News that the tragedy comes as the 38-year-old was focusing his efforts on a musical comeback. He had been through so much, said Kevin. But his focus was on his music. He was getting ready to make his comeback. He had been in the studio working on a project that was supposed to be released this year. Born in 1982, Quinton reportedly began singing in his church choir at age 4 before he was tapped to appear in Madonna's Like a Prayer. By age 12, he'd signed with Virgin Records and was set to record his self-titled debut album. Before he finished, he was asked to appear in the modern adaptation of Shakespeare's play Romeo and Juliet. Fans may remember Quinton as a choir member singing Prince's When Doves Cry and Rosalla's Everybody's Free in the film. The tracks also appeared on the double platinum soundtrack to the movie, according to the Dallas Morning News. Lurman took to Instagram to pay tribute to the late singer with an audition tape of him singing. A beautiful soul has passed, my thoughts are with Quinton Tarver's family and loved ones, the director captioned the video. The same year his album and the soundtrack came out, his star continued to rise with the release of his album and the hit single It's You That's On My Mind, which the outlet report sent him on tour with singers Brandy and Monica. However, despite a quick rise as a youth in the music scene, he was back home in Texas by age 14. In a 2017 interview with an Australian outlet, he claimed his career stalled after he spoke out about being molested by someone in the music industry. He mentioned that he started to have struggles with drug and alcohol addiction after his career stalled. However, by 2017, he had just come out of rehab and was dedicated to getting